Hi, this is Vanessa. You might know me as Pen Gangsta. And today I'm going to talk about my top three pens, name those pens, and I'm gonna show them to you and then explain why I like them so much. So let's get started. Number one on my list is the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande in Girasol, which means sunflower in English. I love this pen so much. In fact, I find myself gravitating towards this pen whenever I'm working or I need to write something down. And I think it's because, not just because of the way it looks, but it's also because of the way it writes. There is a broad nib, broad stainless steel nib in it, and it has an ebonite feed. Not to mention that this pen is a piston filler and it holds about 1.5 milliliters of ink, which is quite a bit of ink. So it lasts me a long time when I'm doing long writing sessions. It writes very smoothly. It doesn't dry up on me at all. I know it's reliable and it's, it's a big pen, but I like it because it's really substantial and it's highly reliable. The second pen on my list is the Conklin Mark Twain Crescent Filler. And not just this one, this is the uh, cream colored one, but I like them all. I have several of them and each one of them writes well. The ink flow is great. And the other thing I really like about it aside from the way it looks is the history behind it. This pen design has been around over a hundred years. And that's why it's called the Mark Twain Crescent Filler. This was his pen of choice. He was an avid Conklin Crescent Filler pen user. And the reason for that, he really liked the way that the pen was self-filling. So basically you put it in the ink, you squeeze down the crescent, let it go, and it inks itself, which is a really cool little trick that it does. Another thing that Mark Twain liked about it was the crescent itself. He could lay the pen down and the pen would not roll off of his desk. So that's still part of this design and that's why I like it, is the cool history and it's a very reliable writer. Right now I have a 1.1 stub nib on it and I like it because it gives me such wonderful line variations when I'm writing. I can write really crappy but it'll make my writing look really fancy. Number three on my top three pen list finally is the Estherbrook SD. And this pen is really cool. This is another throwback to a brand from nearly a hundred year, years ago, which is the Estherbrook, which was recently brought back by Kenro Industries. But this one particularly is my favorite, the tortoise shell. And I like the tortoise shell because it's a classic pattern. It goes with everything. And I really feel like I am grabbing onto a piece of history when I write with this. The really cool thing about the Estherbrook SD, which this one I have, it's got a steel medium nib on it, which is a great smooth writer. I haven't had any problems with this thing drying out on me whenever I need it. And the reason for that is inside the cap, it has this little uh, system in it where it's, there's like a cap in it, it's kind of spring loaded. So that way it's to ensure that the nib stays wet even when you don't use it for a long period of time. So I like that I can just grab this pen, uncap it, post it, and write with it. Another great thing about the Estherbrook SD, which I really love, and that is another throwback. I mean, obviously I'm into history, right? So it's another throwback to the yesteryear or one of the golden, I guess, would it be the golden age of fountain pen writing. The Estherbrook SD has an adapter that you can buy separately and it looks like this. And what's cool is that this adapter, it threads into the modern Estherbrook SD. And all you have to do is you get a vintage nib, probably from around the 1950s, and it screws right into this part of the adapter and then you can ink it, put this into your SD. I've got a lot of pens and I love them all like little children. That's like asking me to pick one of my children. So let's, let's go back. So my top three were the Leonardo, 
Memento Zero Grande in Jira Soul. And specifically, I mean, I like all the Memento Zero Grandes, but specifically this material is very, very cool. The Conkling Crescent Filler. And finally, the Esterbrook Esty. Thanks a lot for watching. Maybe you'll go check out these pens at your favorite online pen retailer. And I want to just keep writing with these and enjoying them. And you enjoy writing too. And that's how the ink flows. <laughs>